City of Thornton. That was Dylan Thomas reporting. Now, we are on the brink of a holiday weekend. It's also the unofficial start of summer, but Dave Aguilera, it's not going to quite feel like summer, is it? It's going to be a soggy start to our summer coming up. We've got a couple of systems coming through, and especially Memorial Day looks very wet right now. We'll get to that out there right now, man. Enjoy this afternoon. It's 67 degrees downtown. There's a look from our city park camera. Kelly Harris, our weather watcher in Golden, coming in at 65 degrees. Same thing from Larry Geok in Brush. Thank you guys for checking in. I want to start you off. It's Thursday. The new drop monitor comes out. And look at this. We have uh, abnormally dry, uh, kind of a slot, if you will, right along the Palmer Divide here. But up to the north, Denver, Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Pueblo down to Walsenburg, Trinidad, into some of the Sangre de Cristos. The drought is still gone in those areas because of all the water, and we've got more water coming our way. Still, we are in an exceptional to extreme out in western Colorado. And unfortunately, guys, this next round of water, it's going to be mountains. And eastern plains again. I wish we could get you more, but it doesn't look like that this time around. Here's satellite and radar currently mostly clear across the state. We've got a few little cumulus clouds trying to build up some showers north of Durango down there. And southern Colorado might see a few showers today. The big storms of yesterday pushing on out from Oklahoma City to St. Louis. Severe weather out there. And right over Portland, there's this big low pressure. This is an entire low pressure trough out here that's swinging through here. And this is what's going to slide through this weekend and really kind of set. Settle in by the time we get to Monday. Here's the way it looks on the forecast. High pressure tomorrow. We're in pretty good shape. Be a sunny day. Might have a few little isolated afternoon thunderstorms. And then watch what happens as we get into Saturday early in the morning. This is at 2 30 in the morning. The front starts to come through. We start to see some rain over eastern Colorado. Behind it, maybe a few showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening through Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, showers and thunderstorms. That's the map at 7 o'clock. And then once we get into Monday, we are still seeing moisture come through. So here's one of the computer forecast models on how much water we might see by the time we get to Monday. In the front range here, could be up around an inch of water. That's a lot of rain for uh, at least three days. And then out here in eastern Colorado, Burlington and beyond, you guys could get up to maybe two, three inches of water by the time we get uh, to Monday. That's counting three days of afternoon uh, showers and morning rain as well. So for today, maybe a few isolated sprinkles or showers down across southern Colorado from Denver northward will be mostly sunny. If we do anything see anything pop here, it'll be Douglas, Jefferson County might have one or two isolated weak thunderstorms fire up or showers. Not going to be a big deal for us at all. Most of the day will be in the sunshine around here. There's a look at our highs, a lot of 70s and 80s down in the lower elevation. So in a nutshell, here is the Denver metro area this weekend. We have chances of rain Saturday, Sunday and Memorial Day with temperatures going from the 70s on Saturday to the 50s on Memorial Day. Same thing in the mountains. If you're camping, count on showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon, especially on Sunday and Monday. And Sunday and Monday, if you're up high, you might actually get a little rain snow mix there. And then the rest of the forecast for you, looking uh, like uh, once we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 70s and 80s, and still a pattern of showers and thunderstorms continuing out there. So pack the rain gear. We told you yesterday, we're going to tell you again today, pack all the rain gear you got if you're going to the mountains <laughs> or outside. All right, I kept my rain boots handy too. Ah, good idea. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> you we'll take a look at this view 